What's up, you guys? This is, this is Wolf Friend of the Fallout Kid again. And yes, we're in our last film of this franchise. Yep. So, of course, yeah, this is the worst one of this franchise. I know that. Jaws for the Revenge. Mm hmm. Yep, so this is uh, Jaws for Revenge, though. Considered as always one of the worst ones, though. Yep, the worst one of the franchise, and. I'll say this is not as worse as some of the modern shark movies, like, you know, like, um, freaking, what is it, like, Three-Headed Sharks, uh, the sequels to the, or two of the sequels to Deep Blue Sea, I don't know about the second, I don't know if I still like the second one or not, but, I mean, Ghost Shark, oh gosh, Ghost Shark, even the short native franchise as well, oh man. All of those short movies are worse, so. But this one, it's still the worst one, though, but. I mean, they did use the short animatronic or short, mo short model. So, because they all look real, though, than the CGI ones. Rather, rather than using CGI ones, so. Now, Bay, the, the 2012 short movie, um, I don't know if I still liked it or not, but. I don't know, I thought the storyline was pretty good. On that one though, but but I don't know if I still like this one or not. But but yeah, now I'll get to this though. Now now let's get to the plot of this movie. Now the plot that we got this opening uh, with the shark going. And it's got you know it's got the, it's got this really cool looking uh, Jaws remix soundtrack. You know I mean I thought the remix of the soundtrack would sound pretty good. So so we have Sean. You know. Yeah, we have Sean. Yeah, we got the wife, um, Chief Brody's wife, um, Ellen. Yeah, Ellen. That's the wife and his and her her youngest son, Sean Brody. So, so Sean went to the police station, and we got we got a picture of. Excuse me. Yeah, we got in the background. We got a picture of Chief Brody, Martin Chief Martin Brody. Yeah, who's you know who you know who's dad, who died um due to a heart attack, which sucks, so I'm not, not talking about the actor, um, Roy Schneider, though, when he played Chief Brody, I'm talking about the character himself, Martin, Bro Ch Martin Chief Brody, or Chief Martin Brody, yeah, the one you, yeah, so, yeah, it, so, yeah, I mean, it has a picture, it had a picture of him, though, in the background, so, so, Sean goes out, goes on a boat, um, he tried picking this piece, a piece of wood out, out of that, that thing that floats, you know. So the shark just ate um, Sean's arm off. Yeah, they ate his arm off. So he just he started screaming, 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 and yeah. You know, I mean, screaming at the top of his lungs. I mean, he keeps saying, "Oh, help me, help me!" I mean, like. So now he started getting baked up, you know, eat up, and now he's. He's out of the water, started screaming for help, and now he's getting now he's getting eaten this time, which just sucks. So, I mean, he his voice sounded like freaking Marty McFly or Michael J. Fox from Back to the Future. That's why his voice sound, sounded like him. But so he so he's dead, sadly though. But I mean, that's just the stupidest death for a character, you know. I mean, I mean, even though his arm got eaten off, I mean, he should at least just drive the boat with one hand, you know, just go to the hospital or you know. Oh, there's this and that in the water, you know. So there's a shark out there and stuff. But that's what he should have done. But but nope, he didn't anyway. He just screaming, screaming, screaming. And the shark just eats him up. So yeah. So yeah. So so we got Michael, the oldest son. Yeah, Michael, um, his wife and his daughter, Thea. Yeah, Thea Brody, who played by um, Judith Barcy. Yeah. Uh, by the way, the only the only thing good out of it was Judy Barsi acting, you know, before she got murdered in real life, though, from this. But yeah, of course, it's still one of the worst ones. But the only thing good out of, out of it was um was um was uh yeah um Judy Barsi, the, the girl who played as um. Thea Brody, the the da the daughter, and even the granddaughter of. Ellen and Martin Brody's granddaughter. So yeah. Um. 
So yeah, um, so Alan just uh, tell people you better get out of the water and stuff, and uh, saying that said it killed Sean, it killed his father, and uh, killed yeah, killed yeah, father, you know, Martin Brody, and I mean Michael and Michael goes like, but but dad died in heart attack, and I'm now Alan Brody is saying. T- tell Michael saying he died from fear and stuff, of, you know. So, so we got so next morning they had like a funeral and stuff. So, yeah, we, yeah, we have Hoagie played by um, Michael Caine. I mean, I like Michael Caine though. I thought, yeah, he's the guy who played um, Alfred from the Dark Knight trilogy. So, so anyway, Hoagie he drives the pl- you know drives the plane so. Um, so Ellen has had a dream being eaten by a shark, so she had a dream, um, that, yeah, a nightmare, you know, my bad, yeah, had a nightmare of her self swimming and being attacked, so, so, yeah, I just, I don't know, I, so Michael and his friend Jake, you know, works at this, you know, who studies these stuff out of the ocean, you know, it's hard to go into too much details of this film. I mean, yeah, I see everything bad in this. So, yeah, it's got this really boring plot in this. So, but yeah, anyway, um, so in a few um moments, so or days or whatever, no, no, no. Jake was under, under the water in this old tank thingy. I forgot what you call it. So the shark was right beside him, and and then Michael finally finds that shark, um, sees the shark. The shark just bites the crap out of that thing, you know, the thing that floats. So that boat thingy, I don't know what you call it, that tug boat. So it goes back, you know. So so Jake plans on getting that sh- getting that shark, you know. So research that thing, you know. So. So yeah, um, now Alan, uh, Alan, just keep hearing that shark, you know, that just make noise, like, roar. I mean, that shark just sound like a freaking dinosaur or T Rex. I mean, you know, like like a like a Jurassic Park T Rex. Like, well, I mean, this franchise came out before Jurassic Jurassic, uh, Jurassic Park, but I mean, it didn't sound like the one from Jurassic Park though. It it, it does sound like a T Rex though, but the shark. But so the other day though, um. So they put a bunch of bait, including that huge meat, that chunk of meat, and shark just bind it, and Jake just, Jake just stabbed that thing, you know, the, I forgot what that thing called that has the shark um, heart, though, that they can hear and stuff, so. So the next other morning, yeah, yeah, next morning, I don't know how to explain this other detail in this plot, but, but screw it, but you know what, I'll just go, let's go to the plot, yeah, the plot, so now. So, so yeah, Michael is underwater in the tank, so, now he's being attacked by a shark, so he went to this shipwreck that he get in, so, so, he uses oxygen to go up, you know, for him to go up in the water faster, so, yeah, but at night, he, you know, he has bandages on his arms, so, because he got cut, but next morning, yeah, He's one under, he goes on back underwater and there's that eel, you know. Oh no, okay, the same day, um, so, so, um, yeah, Thea, uh, uh, wanted to go to the banana boat, so she did. Then the shark just showed up and, so, they're all being attacked by the shark, but the only, yeah, the, the shark just, just bite the heck out of that woman. Uh, right at the back of the boat, yeah. So yeah, thankfully Thea's okay. So the girl, that woman, got eaten. So yeah. Um. So now Ellen had enough of that, so she went on Michael's boat. So I mean, how does she? How can she just defeat the shark? You know, with no. That doesn't make any sense though. But now, now I'm just kind of confused now. So unless she went up just. She can't live, you know, without a family, you know, can't, I mean, even though Michael is the only person that Ellen has, so, so Michael and Jake goes after, 
it goes after Allen, and now even Hoagie um, had has plane started, so they went on the plane and goes after Allen, and the shark almost um, almost got Allen, so she, luckily Allen failed to that um, that floor, that base that, that basement thing, or, you know, like it goes it goes under that that boat, you know, so so yeah, um, so the Hoagie landed the plane, you know. Michael and Jake, uh, uh, when that goes out of the plane, it goes on the boat, and, um, Hoagie's being attacked, so he somehow got out of the plane, I don't know how that Hoagie got out of the plane, I guess he must have went to the other side or something, you know, the other door, I don't know, but, so he's lucky to be alive, and, so the shark goes up, Jake just puts the thing into the shark's mouth, but now Jake somehow just fail and the shark grabbed him and you know just kind of baited him and and he's still alive somehow yeah still alive so I don't know how though but that's I mean that's good though but I don't know how he's how that Jake being alive I don't know maybe he just got swallowed up without just chewing it I don't know so um so now Alan keeps having this flashback that she wasn't even with well except she has flashback the only the only flashback they would have just only believed was Thea being attacked. That's yeah, she only sees Ella, um Thea being attacked. That's the only thing she sees. But if she wasn't even with Martin, her husband, I mean, I'm, why would they put her? Why well, why would they put that flashback in, um of her husband shooting the shark? I mean, that's ridiculous though. No. So Michael got this little thing, you know the. I don't know what you call it, but make the shark driving that shark crazy. It's like and it making that freaking T Rex noises again, like roar, you know, just shaking in and just acting crazy, or you know. If she keeps having flashbacks, and they also had to flashback of Martin to say, "Why are you sort of a you know like in the first movie?" You know. So the uh, the the very last part, you know, the front part of the boat that stayed right there that stabbed the shark through, and, it's, and it exploded for somehow for no freaking reason. I mean, what the freaking crap? How is it? How is it the shark exploded while the thing being stabbed? I don't. I mean, even I used to like it, but now I sort of sort of know that doesn't make sense. I mean, what the heck? I mean, I don't get it, you guys. I mean, that uh, that's ridiculous. And now, after that's done, the shark. I mean, not the shark. The the boat being destroyed. You know, um, you know. Um, being destroyed, you know. And of course, yeah, Jake's Jake is alive. Yep. So Jake is alive, covered in blood, you know. And so, so they so later on the when they so Alan went on home, goes on a plane home, and yeah. So that's how the way it ended. So yeah, even though this is definitely one of the worst draw moves of this franchise. Yeah, I mean, I'll still rather keep watching it, though. It's still, I mean, it's still pretty bad, though. I mean, but no, heck no. I ain't watching Sharknado, nor three Hiss Sharks. Heck no. I think I'd rather watch this and watch this than those movies. So, yeah. But it's still a bad movie. It's still a worse movie, though, but one of the worst movies, though, but... Oh, speaking of the ending... Uh, have you ever watched that uncut ending on YouTube? You, you go check it out on YouTube though. Now, it's got this uncut ending. I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know if it was in theaters or maybe it was in the, uh, uh, from a different ch channel or maybe from a different country or a, DV a TV channel. I don't know, but it has an uncut ending of, you know, a cheap. I mean, not cheap. Brody. Um, Michael. You know. You know. I, like in the like in the actual movie, they used to. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Sorry, I keep talking so much. Yeah. So Michael was just using the thing again, like like in this like in the actual cut and and it just shows a flashback and stuff, so the shark just keep going or you know, the boat keeps going and going and I guess what it shows it's got this really bad picture effect of it shows the boat um I mean, it shows the shark um going up like this and just the you know the pointy Front thing of the boat, you know, it stab like it just it stabs a shark like like usual. But now it it literally it has a shark, pales the shark up like the blood's coming out. 
I mean, it kills it pales and kills the sharks up like that. And the, I mean, the, the whole boat and everything starts shaking and shaking and shaking and and then and then the shark and it shows the shark keep going down and so all the it's all three of the characters and the whole boat um, falling apart and the shark going down and so it also shows a shark like falls down and it got the front part of the boat going down like this you know and that's how the uncut how it is man this is the best ending of the oh wait this is the this is a much better this is a way better ending than, than this one and this one well unfortunately on this DVD it didn't it didn't put this on DVD what the heck what's so bad about putting this un, this really amazing uncut scene in this DVD I mean putting in the special features I mean what the crap it was sucks that they okay in the actual cut in this movie they literally it shows the the very shot that they actually shot from the first movie really well I mean even though I did saw this you know I did watch this um like about a decade ago but now but yeah I still I yeah I, I know I I was confused when I was a kid I was kind of confused why would they put the same I was like wait why, why would they use the same the same shot like in the first movie why would they do that yeah I just need to calm down. That was, yeah, the the uncut ending is way better than the one that the one that showed up on the actual movie. So I don't know why would they do that though. I don't know why. I don't know if they. Uh, excuse me. I don't know if they if they put that in theater though. I don't know. I don't know. If they just man screw the un uncut ending. I'll just put the I'll just I'll just put the I'll just put the um uh, the actual ending for the first movie and then put it together to make it look good. So it won't scare the crap out of anybody. So they did. So. Well, you screwed it up. I don't know why, though. This is ridiculous. I mean, unless Scream Factory would just, why not make a re-release of this movie? They would just make it uncut. They would just put the uncut ending to this. I mean, oh, well, I mean, yeah, I know Jaws the Revenge is still the worst one, but, I mean, I mean, come on. They, they, they could have at least put the uncut ending into this. I mean, what? I'm not going to go on to this, though. I can't, I can't go on and on. Yeah, the cast in this movie is just, yeah, the cast. Oh, the only thing good out of it, like, oh, I mean, yes, I do like Michael Caine. I like. I thought he sounded pretty funny in this, but yeah, of course, and, and I do like um, Judith Barstie in this as well. But even though sadly this is also her last foe, I think it was a year before she died. I don't know, but let's see, Lauren Gary. That's the same cast member from the other movies. Yeah, played as um, Martin's wife. Yeah, Ellen Brody. Yeah, and Lance gets. Oh gosh, that that that. Lance gets as playing Michael Brody. Really, that's freaking ridiculous. What? Why can't they just reput um. Dennis Quaid in that? I mean, Dennis Quaid did the best job as um Michael Michael Brody. I don't I don't get that. I mean, I like. I mean. I, Seriously, I like I like um, Dennis Quay though, and why would they remove him and add a another cast member? What the heck? And it doesn't look good as Michael Brody in this one. What the heck? Yeah, yeah, but but yeah, Jaws of Revenge is a crap, pretty uh, piece of crap movie though. Yeah, worse than the other ones though. I I know. I mean, if you guys like it, and that's also good for you. That's that's fine. I mean, I respect that because I used to like it bad then, and now I hated it. But even though I do glad they stopped making these movies because I have you, have you ever heard of um, Jaws nineteen? It's also on YouTube and it's also on the special features on the Back to Future trilogy set. Now, I mean, it's got like Jaws like five, Jaws six, seven, eight, nine, Chief Brody's grandson and stuff, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, you know, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen—a prequel to the sequel, a sequel to the prequel, you know, or a reboot. And Jaws nineteen, this time it's really, really, really personal. So it would have been crazy if they made all of those Jaws movies, but thankfully they didn't. So, <clears throat> so they decided to end this franchise for good. So after Jaws for Revenge. So, oh by the way, guys, you ever heard of Crow Jaws? Oh gosh. 
I don't know if this movie exists in this franchise. I mean, really, though, it's got this really bad, cheesy shark model or shark animatronic. I mean, that's like, it's got the blood sticking out. And I mean, that looks crappy as heck. I mean, look at this. I don't know if this movie exists in this franchise. I, I don't know. Or is it Jaws 5? Or Jaws... Or Crow Jaws? <laughs> I don't know. This looks worse than this. But... <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. But... I mean, for making more Jaws movies, what? I mean, to make a... To make a Netflix film out of it? Heck no. I mean... Don't, don't, oh gosh, don't, don't, don't take this idea, you guys. Don't take this idea to make that. I mean, I do not... It'll be screwed... I mean, it'll be super screwed up, screwed up to make a Netflix film out of this, you know. Yeah, but heck no, don't make that, please. Don't. It's good to leave this whole franchise left for dead, you know. But I mean, it's good to re-release -re -re this movies in theaters, but... It's better... I mean, at least it's better than just making a sequel, but thank thankfully, though, but... Especially making a reboot to this? No. No, 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 no. No. Leave it to, just leave this franchise like this. Please leave it there. Okay? If they keep making more sequels and all, I mean they have, if they did that though then that would have ruined these old these um cast members performance, you know? Especially ruined especially ruined Roy Schneider's performance, you know. Like Robert Shaw, yeah, Robert, Robert, uh, Robert Shaw and um, Richard Drivers, but yeah. Anyway, I know this review is very, very long though, but, but yeah. But yeah, that's my revenge. Uh, revenge, <laughs> excuse me. That's my review of Jaws: The Revenge. The first one was a masterpiece. The second one was a amazing sequel, in my opinion. The third one. Guilty Pleasure, but it was an okay sequel. Yeah, of course, we all know how bad this one is. The worst one in the series. Uh, franchise. <laughs> oh, yeah. Worst one in the franchise, Draws, Draws of Revenge. But, yeah. <sighs> Freaking, sh I don't know what to say, guys, but... But, yeah, that's my review all... I just, yeah, I got finally got done reviewing all the chart, uh, uh, Draws movies, so... Thank goodness, yep, so. I mean, I cannot believe I watched this whole entire franchise when I was like 12, so. Jeez, um. But whatever, though, this is just, this is just, I know this is kind of unacceptable, but, but I think that's all I have to say about this video, though, so thank you guys, thank you guys so much for watching, but. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe and yeah, and be sure to check out some other my my Jaws reviews my my review of the Jaws movies. So yeah So anyway you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video and hope you guys have a wonderful day peace